Welcome back to Salmon Trout Steelheader. We've got an exciting day ahead of us. Um, headed out with my buddy Tim, and we're gonna float the river today in these little rafts. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, baby, we're ready to go. So, uh, it's how everybody's morning starts, right guys? Loading up, making sure you got all your gear. You can see Nick and I made sure we have our safety stuff. We got life jackets with us, uh, cause these rafts are great, but you, uh, you really got to be cognizant still of being, you know, safe. Uh, you don't want to just jump in and think nothing's ever going to happen to you. That's where you get in trouble. Nick and I were just telling some great stories of uh, getting in trouble when you don't think you're going to. So life jackets in. So here we go. They're super easy to load. Just chuck them in. Look at that, all done. Boy, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, these, these things are these things are great. And then Nick, show the guys here what we're this is one of our sponsors, which is Gladiator Cargo Nets, which is a great, great product, super flexible, easy to use, and great for doing these kind of trips because you're able to just now throw this net instead of you know, Nick, instead of doing the ropes and 12 knots and all the other stuff that we all hate to do, these come in all different sizes. This one's a little smaller one. And you can do that all by yourself? Don't all by yourself, yeah. Okay, let's case. see how you do this. Yeah, so then you just kind of center it up and it gives you a lot of good coverage. And then what we're able to do is you center it up and then the straps are great because they, they're they super easy adjustable. So the you just clip it in any grommet. So today we'll probably, since we've got two rafts, we'll just click it into this bottom grommet. These are adjustable, whoop. Hook it onto your hook. And you're ready to go. Okay, so guys, so that took two seconds to do. Connect the straps, they're super tight. The net gives you tons of coverage. Come in different sizes, so if you wanted to, if you had a bigger load in here, you can connect extra straps to here. We're not going real far. You just cinch them down, no knots to tie, and we're ready to go. Yeah, what I love about that too is you could put extra gear under there. Absolutely. And it's not gonna blow away. It doesn't blow out, yeah. Mm -hmm. The, I don't know if the camera shows, but the air blows right through these, so they don't flap like like a typical tarp would be, you know, going like this the whole way. These don't these don't flap at all. You can go at freeway speed, no problem. Awesome. Yep. So guys, I also wanted to show you guys this. This is from a company called Malu. They're one of our advertisers. They make this really cool product. It's really simple for all you guys at salmon and steelhead fish. It's just literally a piece of neoprene. It goes over your seat like that. You just fold it out. This one happens to be the camo color. You just fold it out and I just tuck it under the seat a little bit. And bam, you're ready to go. Now, no more, no more waders, wet waders in your truck. It's super simple when I'm not using it, but I'm good. I know I'm gonna fish. I just literally spin it around and go like that. And bam. <laughs> That is super handy. It's one of the coolest things that, that I've had since I've been here. It's really cool. All right, guys, thanks for joining us again. So it's Nick and I, we're on a little adventure float. Uh, we're gonna show you some cool techniques and some, uh, some ways to read the water and different things you can try. The conditions are pretty good. There's a decent amount of water, but the water's very clear. So uh, we're good there. So we're probably gonna do a lot of jigs, uh, worms, that kind of thing. So we should be good. But we're just getting the day started, so let's go, let's have some fun and we'll bring you some, uh, hopefully some great action. All right? Oh yeah. Okay, what's happening, Tim? All right, well, we got into our first fish here, Nick. I was doing, doing some drift fishing just because of the shape of the hole and the depth of it. Looks like we got a nice one here. Already taking some line. 
So because the design of this hull, I thought drift fishing would be a little better option than, uh, than a bobber and jig or whatever. So looks like it worked out okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, look at him go. There you go. <laughs> I didn't take long. No. <laughs> no. no. Nice, nice fresher one. Not a cromer, but really nice fish. We'll take it. <laughs> there you go, folks. When they want to go, they want to go. So anyway, great start to the morning. Busted out the old school drift gear, which I've grew up doing and love. So we're off to a good start. Stay tuned. We just wanted to take a second and show you. Um, I'm just using a small bait of eggs and most of the time the eggs are gone and I'm just using yarn with a corky for flotation, a short leader, you know, and then I like to run a fixed weight. I'm using slinkies today, but you can also rig these to where the weight slides and that's good in certain situations. But for today, we're just trying to drop that bait down quick into some of these deeper holes. I don't want my weight sliding up and down my up and down my line. And just a nice bait caster. And this is the basic rig. Nick's gonna be fishing some jigs. I'll be fishing some jigs as well, and we'll bring you those. But first fish of the day came on just, you know, everybody calls it the old school drift fishing rig, which is what I love. That's what I grew up doing. So I, I gravitate to it. So, but yeah, we're ready to go. We'll bring you some more action. Up to the next spot. Let's do it in our magic carpets. Well, I'm off to a slow start right upstream behind me there. Um, I was coming through a tight little spot and I caught the tip of my rod on a branch and uh, <laughs> that didn't work out well. We ended up uh, going back up there and getting it back. But uh, anyway, we'll see how things go. I wanted to kind of point out, um, take this opportunity to show you guys a really nice spot here. You can see we come off a fast riffle. So there's no real holding water for them there. And it's kind of the same down below us, but we have this really nice corner hole right here. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's got a nice shelf there. So we were trying to put them in, you know, right along there and let it come right along that shelf. And lots of times those new fish will be nosed right up in there. You can see that's a really good looking water. So, and it comes kind of, kind of comes around this bend here. So a lot of times you guys, you know, it doesn't look like, right Nick, it doesn't look like much of a hole, but boy, you can get them, you can really get them loaded up in a spot like that, especially in these conditions. Yeah, absolutely. And they've got to cross into the shallow water, which they're not going to do yep. until the conditions are just right. Yep. So we just wanted to take a second and point out to you that these are spots where a lot of guys are just blow past them out, it's too shallow, it's, you know, and they, they bolt. But uh, when they're when these kind of conditions are low and clear, that's the kind of water you'll find them in um, pretty regularly, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, what's going on, Tim? Got, got another one here, Nick, doing the old school drift fishing here. The drift fishing seems to be working. Yeah, look at the heat. There's the, this one's got some shoulders. Yeah. He's not really doing anything. He's fighting more like a Chinook. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, he's taking the line under my thumb. Leave some skin on my thumb there, brother. <laughs> really shaking his head. So this is a beautiful looking spot, as you can see. Tim came up to the top to drift fish. He worked it over for actually quite a yeah, while before this, he got the bite. Yeah. And did that one just grab right on or did it yeah, bite yeah. right? Yeah, it, yeah, it, it dumped it pretty good. It's it's a boily hole, so it took quite a few dr Oh, that's a big one. Oh, oh look at the size of that oh, one. Oh yeah, that is. He's fighting more like a Chinook. He's staying, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but it's a deep boily hole. If this was salmon season, I'd say this is a salmon. So you're using what a corky and yarn, right? Just a Basically, and with yarn, a little yeah. bit of scent. Mm. Yep, a little bit of scent. Boy, Nick, he's uh, <laughs> I got some heat on him too. Yeah, I not, see that. He's not a. Uh... Yeah, it's not like I'm babying him. 
He's just got some shoulders. I don't know if you can see him coming up here, but he's gonna... Oh! Whoa, where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, he's hopefully not going down this hill. <laughs> Let's try to... Yeah, and you've got a fairly stout line on yeah, there, no, I think, this right? Is, this fish has got some shoulders, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not babying him, and he's got... Uh, He's doing whatever the hell he wants down there. Okay, he's coming up a little bit closer, it looks oh, like. Look at oh, look the size of that sucker. Oh, you yeah. Okay, yeah, you there? can see him. Look at that. Well, this is the time of the year when you can yeah, could you potentially get, you get a really big one. Yeah, he's, uh, hope he doesn't. Oh, look at that, Nick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. That is a toad. Mm. Oh, Guys, he's just doing goodness. whatever he wants down there. I don't know if you can get a... Oh, look at that oh, big old look buck. Look at that. Holy <laughs> crap. Look at that one, kids. Look at that. <laughs> what a dandy. Lord okay, what are you we thinking? Let me know with... if I can help you out with yeah, something. No, or I move think a boat. Well, he's been here for a few minutes, but he's that big buck you're looking for. Wow. Oh, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get this out of the way. Put that up on the bank over there. Okay, let me you know when you're ready for some help there, and I'll... Uh... Yeah, you know, these big ones, man, they, yeah. they don't want to give up the ghost right at the end here, and I don't want to... What you don't want to do, guys, is when you're in a tight spot like this, put too much pressure on your rod, turning him like this, because you'll end up snapping your rod in half. Oh, my. Okay, wow. So, Tim, um, it's wow, guys, look at the size of that. Look at that buck. That's incredible. Yep, so we want to make sure we take a beautiful fish like this and really, he's ready to go, but boom. The size of that. Oh, that's a stone fly. Stone wow, fly. you got a stone fly and a big old beaver. What's he doing? Oh, he's just going to come right on up to us. Look at that big stone fly. Yeah, take a look at that big old guy. Look at him. Yeah. Okay, go still. He's going to come by us. What is odd behavior for beaver? That is really cool, though. Trying to get him a little more room. There So this is really neat. Um, a beaver just was kind of cruising along the edge of the river and I don't know if he's tired or what's going on, but he just walked right by us and went upstream. He seems healthy, not sure what's going on. And at the same time, a stonefly um, came out of nowhere, which is kind of interesting. We're at the coast and you can probably see him right there. Yeah, look at how big they are. Him. Yeah, usually you see something like that on the Deschutes or uh, Boy, what is this? The end of March? It's a big, yeah. uh, big stone. Yeah, that's so, a uh, that's super cool. That would make any trout stay to have him for lunch, wouldn't it? I mean, that's a big that's a mouthful right there. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. All right, guys, here we are with Super Nick on a I don't know, dude. 
That's a Cromer. Look at that. All right, Nikki, what'd you get him on, buddy? Oh, I got him on just a little bit of eggs and a small sinker, a little float. Nice. Yeah, that's a. He's got a little spank to him. A little spanky. Yeah. Always nice when you can hook one when it's nice and sunny out. Yeah, we're having a pretty good day right here, people. Yep. Whoa! Still think he's a run back? <laughs> I'm thinking maybe not a run back. It's a certainly good fighter, that's for sure. <laughs> nice fish, Nick. Yeah. Very nice. All right. All right. Let's, Let's see, see if he bolts yeah. away. There he goes. Yum! All right, Nick, give us the high five on that, baby. So the beauty of these little rafts is when you come to a situation in the river like this, you can easily carry them around. So we're just gonna walk down here and scout yeah. it out. I've already uh, hit the tip of my rod in one spot, which uh, didn't end up well. So um, we'll make sure this is gonna be a safety. Yeah, end. it's just better to be safe, guys, than sorry. Nick and I both have quite a bit of rowing experience, but you still got to scout it out. I think, I think we can, we'll be good just the same route we did last year. What about that little channel on the other side? I think when you see from this side, see this log that's oh, coming across? The log I goes think it goes all the way across, yeah. Because we almost did that in the high water. We did make it through here, no problem, but you just yeah. obviously got to make sure to see right. you got that one stick in the middle. You barely see it under the surface. Yes, oh yeah. Yeah, see, so see you don't want to get caught on that, obviously. Yeah, so the trick here is just making sure the rods are uh, yeah tucked in. in too, yep, because it'd be real easy to get pushed right into that bush right over there. Yep, very easily. But uh, it doesn't look too bad. No, I think we can get it. Oh my goodness! You see that run? Right. My goodness. No fake enthusiasm here. That was a screaming run. So what just happened? So I just dropped it in with the same same drift gear I've been using all day. I just dropped it in behind these trees, this deadfall, and man, she jumped all over it, or he jumped all over it. I haven't seen him yet. It seems like a fresh fish, though. It's definitely a hot fish. better look at him. It just made a screaming run. Look at that, Cromer. Look at that, oh, Nikki. Boy. Oh, oh. That was a Cromer. Did that you was see a that? very fresh fish, that was, yes. That wow, broke me off, too. See, people, this is the reason why you retie your leaders from your last fish. That's a prime example of Chrome big fish, and he broke off my hook because I didn't pulled it out of 10 snags and was getting lazy it's late in the day and that's what happens but that's fishing maybe it's a down or two i don't think so though yeah it's hard to say but wow okay so we just took another one look and, at him go uh, what look happened that go. one just about jerked the rod out of your hand oh my fishing. god guys you didn't see that but <laughs> it, it almost pulled the freaking rod out of my look at him going he's running up current too look at that all the way across the river running uphill this is a nice fish i believe but yeah i mean same just nick and i have been varying up what we've been using and seems to be yeah yeah that's, that's a, a tough fighter that's a fresh looking one <laughs> he's still gonna go nuts so he hasn't quite yeah. rubbed the bottom or anything so again, I'm just using a using a corky with a little bit of yarn, and it seems to be 
you know, really, really working out well based on how this one just, I wish you could have gotten that on film because look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> did you get that? <laughs> yes, I did. There you go, baby. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. <laughs> So let's see if we can uh, finesse him. Oh, that looks like a big burr. Getting tired, so. Yeah, it's been a beautiful day. Fishing it with those boats is so relaxing and nice. And Isn't just it just beautiful? Doing our own it's just thing. Been, a, been an absolute great day. Good friend. Fishing with the boys. This is a this is another nice. Oh, he's got some. Uh, look at the seal bite on him. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that big X, guys. Look at that. Look at that sea lice on this fish, guys. This is what you come to the coast for. Ugh. I mean, sea lice on it. Look at the big seal bite out of its side. But what a dandy. So yeah. we're going to let her go. She's a bright, yeah, fresh, ready to go, <laughs> ready to go up run. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that was awesome. Wow. <laughs> I wish you guys get out there could have seen that take was unbelievable. It almost pulled. I actually caught the rod at the end of my rod because my hands were wet and it pulled it out of my hand. <laughs> That's what yeah. we're looking for, boys. <laughs> nice. Okay, everybody. Well, I was just putting my rod down and Nick made another cast and here we are on another fish. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, we've, uh, right we've found a pod of them here. Uh, yeah, I mean, wow, that's, that's three fish in three casts. That does not happen steelhead fishing very often. What have you got here? That looks like a little bit of a down run, but yeah. still, I mean, there's all kinds of wow. Nick, again, Nick's getting them on the soft beads and I'm getting them on a corky and yarn. So, see ya. When they want them, they want them. Nicky, Yay. that's, that's that two fun. fish and two casts for you. Right, right. Yeah, okay. I wish it was like this all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Well done. <laughs> all right. It's getting later in the afternoon and we still got some river to cover, but, uh, we just wanted to uh, kind of bring an update. So we've gotten everything from a giant 37 and a half incher to some down runs, to some sea lice covered ones. So it's been been a good day out on the creek and we've gotten them a bunch of different ways. Nick's got them on beads. I got one on a worm earlier. Uh, I've got a, several on the uh, drift gear, which is something us old guys like to do quite a bit when you can do it. So. We're not done for the day, but we're gonna keep trucking and uh, hopefully we'll bring you some more action, but so far, so good. Another fish. It's another cromer. No, oh my gosh. Another cromer, but a big one. Look at that. Big old buck. On the drift I, gear. I feel like we're, we're cheating the audience with the no clicker on the, some of those runs. <laughs> Are pretty impressive, but you can't hear them like you can on the spinning rod. Old school drift fishing. Yep, old guy fishing. Nice bud. Get up here, get out of my chariot. Hi, hey boys. So. <laughs> and off he goes. <laughs> All right. Another one. Lots yeah. Of action. This is fun. This is great, man. This has been really good. <laughs> yeah, we were wondering all morning where the runbacks were, and uh, apparently we found yeah, them. them go. And I some fresh know. ones. This one, that's like his fifth jump right there. Yeah, we were we were saying we could where are, there should be more runbacks in here, but we didn't find them until late in the afternoon. Apparently, let me see if I can just jump down here and gotta be careful. This stuff is slippery. Whoa! Still going crazy. Oh, 
Oh no. Must be. Yeah, it's just a... Uh, it's a fresher run back. Yeah, it's a nice shape. It's yeah. just headed back to the ocean. Yeah, Got I mean... a pretty good chance of coming back again. Yeah, yeah, being a... Yeah, we'll just... Nice little skinny girl, but she dumped mm -hmm. her eggs and... Man! There she goes. Well, today Tim and I had an incredible journey in uh, these Watermaster rafts. They really got us to all the different spots. Had a lot of fun, really relaxing. Um, one thing I learned is uh, I've got to organize my gear a little bit better, but about halfway through the day, I figured it out and uh, kind of got on my game, started hooking a few fish. Tim has had an exceptional day, um, and I'll let him tell you all about it. We've had a fantastic day today using these small, small rafts to get out on a small stream like this. It's been a tremendous day. We've gotten everything uh, today. We've gotten down runs, we've gotten sea lice fish, we've got, I got a really, really big one earlier today. And the day's wrapping up, as you can probably tell, it's late in the afternoon. So we're gonna, we're gonna get them on the, uh, on the trailer and, and get out of here. But thanks for joining us. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and also leave comments if you guys like to see this kind of small stream fishing or whatever, and we'll bring it to you. So thanks for joining us today, and we look forward to the next one.